Welcome to the Supreme Court. Oh wait, we had a comment. Upgrade your microphone. Is this better now? Because if you said yes, it's not even plugged in. I don't play to your rules. The only rules is to find the best soup. I like books. I like authors. And I want to know their favourite soups. If you've been watching the series, you know I've been sending emails out. And I'm still continually sending those emails. But sometimes you just need that quick soup fix. Because apparently I'm doing one a week. So I need that content. Right now we're going to Google and find a recipe. Oh, what's this? Well, it's only Plek. If you'd like to support this channel, jump into the Discord, have a lot of fun. Plek is the answer. Authors, soup, recipe. That should do the trick. We didn't have to scroll too far. Daily Beast, 10 famous authors and their favorite foods and recipes. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Sylvia Plath, tomato soup cake? Does that count as a soup? Let me know if you'd like me to make Tomato cake soup. And then maybe I'll soup it. <laughs> yeah, soup. John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck's pozole. I mean, that looks like a soup. He made pozole according to a simple recipe from his friend. Just a can of chili and a can of hominy. Combine heat, serve for a soup that's ideal for a writer on the road. What on earth is hominy? Hominy. I know the Americans are probably going to be like, you don't know what hominy is? I've never heard of hominy. I'm going to call Tesco. I'm going to ring the Tesco call centre. It's like the biggest like supermarket chain in the Probably UK. Tesco. Just so you know, we may record your call today to help us to improve our customer service. Good. Please choose from one of the following options. Have an order number to availability. For help with current applications... I don't want a job. I just want to know what hominy is. And please be aware that some of our options have recently changed. If you're inquiring about stock availability... Okay, Tesco don't have hominy. Hominy is a food produced from dried maize kernels that have been treated with an alkali. So let's just buy it. I'll, I'll just go on Amazon. Ah! It's going to cost me £7 for hominy? My bank balance is going to look like Wall Street on 1929. It looks Puffy. 830 grams, so I'm just gonna have to buy like enough chili. It looks like a one to one ratio, I'm guessing, from that really mundane recipe. Let's go buy some chili, but the rules are I gotta get it on the road. So whatever chili comes up is the chili I get. To the local store! Two weeks later. Hazel, this isn't chilli. This isn't a soup recipe. Nice. Bye, child. Can you say soup? We have two tins of classic chilli. It's stag. It's like the classic. I don't think I could have gone for a better on-the-road chilli. It's a staple and it's not measured in stupid cups. Americans, stop measuring things in cups. It makes zero sense. <laughs> that was a noise and a half, wasn't it, peeps? We're not gonna rinse it out. We're on the road with Jack Kerouac in this recipe. Jack Kerouac in. I don't know why we're Jack Kerouac in. I do apologize. We're gonna clean up now. Wonderful. And now we just wait for the hominy. One week later. For this recipe, we're wearing the Long John Steinbecks. Let's go. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> this doesn't look safe. Is this a standard thing? Is this a kitchen staple? Got some Peter Carey hominy. Whoa, that's not. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to look like that. What on it? Do you like Zoella? It's just like a puffed up kernel. Imagine sweet corn crossed with stale popcorn. Do I drain this? No, no, John, John Steinbeck's on the road. He don't have time. Jack Kerouac in. I'll pick that up. And now we cook. But this is pozole, people. This is authentic. <laughs> this is authentic pozole. Just smells of stag chili and popcorn. I'm not hating it. I mean, nothing can be as bad as Ray Bradbury's, let's be honest. If you haven't seen that episode, here's a clip. <laughs> what is wrong with him? If Dante knew about this, they would be an extra layer in hell. I'll see you back when it's cooked. 11 minutes later. One thing that's worth mentioning before I put this in my mouth is that 
To buy the hominy and two jars of chilli, this cost me £11.50. Just remember that. Cheers, John Steinbeck. It tastes of stag chilli, and the hominy is, is almost like a filler. And stag chilli's not great. Um, it's okay, I mean, it's okay. I'm not mad about it, but I'm not mad about it. Three soups out of five. It, it's, it's okay. 